Hello students, now we will discuss about Arthropoda phylum in Animal Kingdom chapter. Here we will deal about some of the characteristic features of Arthropoda. Arthropoda is considered as the largest phylum in Animal Kingdom. And overall, two by third of all named species on earth are considered to be arthropods. Arthropods are of aquatic form and terrestrial form. Aquatic form again are of marine form and freshwater forms. Aquatic means they live in water. So under marine, marine aquatic forms, we can see some of the examples like crabs, barnacles, lobsters, etc. Under freshwater forms, we can see Daphnia arthropods. Under terrestrial forms, we can see some of the examples like spiders and lepisma, nothing but silverfish, etc. Scorpions. All these are also considered as, means the terrestrial forms, all these forms can be considered as free living. Among these, barnacles are depending on other organisms. So they are not considered as free living forms barnacles are of marine aquatic forms those are not considered as free living but some examples under arthropods are considered to be free living forms what are parasitic forms lysis we know that they reside in the human head and ticks etc on animals heads next body is bilaterally symmetrical means bilateral symmetry we know the meaning that when body is divided anterior to posterior and right to left then only in both directions then only we will get two halves of the organism's body they are triploblastic means during the embryonic stage they show three germ layers like ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm next they show organ system level of organization means the digestive system respiratory system is mostly well developed not equal to that of higher chordates but it is okay digestive system is considered as a complete type of digestive system which is having mouth and anus development these are considered as coelomates since the coelom is present in all the body parts for suppose they show we are telling that arthropods show metameric segmentation or metamerism what is meant by metamerism metamerism means the inner visceral body organs or most of the body organs are equally distributed in each and every segment. But if you take digestive system and buccal cavity or pharynx or gizzard of the digestive system etc. It is meant only to the anterior part. We cannot tell that those are present in each and every body part or body segment because arthropoda body is also divided into segments. Means head, thorax and abdomen. Still there are some of the Segmenta segmentation divisions but these some of the parts of the digestive system are not present in each and every segment equally but if you take coelom coelom is equally uh, distributed all over the body so when some parts of the body or some structures of the body are equally divided in each and every segmentation still we can give them a term like arthropods also show metamerism or metameric segmentation means some of the body parts are equally distributed in each and every segment of the body. Body is divided into head, thorax and abdomen. Neck is highly reduced. If you uh, recall about a cockroach, in case of cockroach, head is bent towards the earth direction and body will be horizontal. So that we say that in case of cockroach, it is hypognathous head. In some arthropoda, both head and thorax are fused. When they are both structures are fused, then they are called as cephalothorax. In some arthropoda, both head and thorax are fused. Such type of structures are called as cephalothorax. Cephalothorax also called as prosoma. They have jointed legs. Legs are also termed like 
appendages which help in locomotion next body is covered by chitinous exoskeleton if you see biochemically this chitinous exoskeleton is made up of n acetyl glucose amine it is considered as a homopolysaccharide next serum is filled with blood in case of arthropoda hemocele in case of arthropoda we call the serum which is filled with blood combinedly as hemocele next digestive system is complete digestive system what is meant by complete digestive system means the total system must be having one side mouth and other side anus so it is well developed in case of arthropoda next coming to respiratory system respiratory structures are of different types in different arthropoda some arthropoda are having gills for suppose prawns are having gills as respiratory structures so the respiration with the help of gills is also called as branchial respiration branchial respiration term is one of the previous mcq so it is also called as branchial respiration next in some arthropods the respiratory structures are hook lungs example scorpion and spiders etc next in some arthropoda the respiratory structures are book gills example is living fossil that is limulus which is also termed as horse shoe crab next in some insects in all insects mostly the respiratory structures are trachea trachea helps in direct mixing of oxygen in the total body hemocele or xylem so in case of insects the respiratory structures are trachea next is circulatory system is open type open type means blood is not only flowed only inside the blood vessels but it is also dispersed in the total hemocele or in the tissues of the body so blood is also called as hemolymph it is whitish blue in color and the pigment respiratory other pigments are absent here but there is a copper containing pigment which is responsible for the whitish bluish color of the arthropoda that is hemocyanin it has copper containing pigment hemocyanin next excretion is by antennary glands which are also called as green glands antennary glands are also called as green glands they help in excretion and respiration see these green glands or antennary glands are present in the anterior part of the body next is coxal glands are also present at anterior part of the body next one malpighian tubules these are present in the hind gut at the junction of the mid gut and hind gut in case of cockroach like insects we see malpighian tubules next is excretory matter is ammonia in case of aquatic arthropods and uric acid in case of terrestrial arthropods next is head shows cephalization cephalization means the head constituting the sensory organs and also the nervous system or neural organs cephalization means head having sensory and neurons sense organs are eyes antenna and statocysts statocysts are sensory organs next gonads have ducts here gonads have ducts they are tube like structures and arthropods are dioecious means 
they are unisexual organisms we can differentiate between male and female arthropoda and they are oviparous we can see egg laying nature in case of insects development is direct means without formation of larva directly the egg one will be born next and also indirect means there are some larval forms for example if you take barnacles and shrimps there is a larval form called as nauplius nauplius is the larval form in barnacles and shrimps there are some economically important insects also like honey bees and silk worms etc first one apis indica which is nothing but honey bee next bombyx mori which is also called as in simple terms silk worm next lacifer lacca which gives out the lac which is the solidifying substance there are some vectors also in arthropoda like insects that carry the diseases like female anopheles mosquito is there next culex mosquito and also aids mosquito which we know that female anopheles mosquito transports malarial fever next culex mosquito it transports filariasis or elephantiasis next aids mosquito it transports yellow fever and also chikungunya virus also next there are some gregarious pests gregarious means the insects that live and that move in huge colonies example here will be locust next there is another living fossil in arthropoda which is also termed as limulus or horse shoe crab or king crab living fossil is king crab or limulus which is also termed as horse shoe crab also so these are some of the characteristic features of arthropoda